Hey there guys, been a while since I uploaded on the channel and that's because I was busy making my first feature length film, Are You Still Watching? which I'm going to be talking about in this video. Around the time of December, January last year, I was coming up with an idea for a film. A film that will bore an audience. A film made to challenge the modern audience's attention span. And I asked myself a million questions about what the film will be about. Should a film be about something for it to be considered good? How do I get my themes across if I want to bore the audience? What am I trying to say with it? Now, I knew that I want to talk about these themes and how we engage with media. That was the primary theme I wanted to explore. And as I made the film, I knew that it's going to end up being about a lot more things. But that's for me to figure out once I start shooting. Now, the other question I had to ask myself was regarding my approach to making the film. In terms of form, I would like to consider myself an extremely meticulous director, someone who extensively plans each and everything from scripting to storyboarding. And I'm someone who always has a clear vision of my film in my head before I shoot it. But this time, I decided not only to narratively challenge the audience, but challenge myself in terms of my approach, which is why I made the decision to make this film without a script or storyboard. I have a filmmaker friend who has a very similar approach to making films this way and he churns out some really fascinating films that are vastly different from my own and I really wanted to try that approach for myself and see what comes out because now is the time to experiment now is the time to play with the forms and conventions of cinema and bend the tropes and notions that we are familiar with and I was really excited for the project because it can be considered my first personal film, one where I actually have something to say. Not to say that my previous films are lesser for it, but those were always conceptual experiments, seeing if I could shoot action a certain way because none of us could act or how we can make a chase movie in different styles. But with Are You Still Watching, whose working title was simply just called Boredom, it would be my first film where I'm expressing my opinion on something that I wholeheartedly believe in. It was quintessentially my film, where I'm taking a risk and trying something out just because I can. Boredom would be an experiment, one that may or may not work, but I would have learned a lot from. And I did. I shot the film for about two months during my final few months of first year in college. And it was an experience unlike any other. Figuring out the narrative and the way I want to tell it on the spot is something I've never been exposed to. And honestly, I'm very glad that I shot the film this way because I would have gotten a completely different film if I approached it how I normally would. But trying to figure out how and where to place certain sequences in a coherent manner was very challenging, but helpful. I'd randomly pick up a camera and start recording whenever I had the opportunity and let my future self worry about where this would fit into the narrative. This way, of filmmaking was completely alien to me but I'm very glad that I did it. One of the qualms I had to let go of in the beginning was striving for a level of perfection. Obviously I would give it my very best but I had to let go of the expectation that every shot of mine is going to be just how I want it to be. Once I did that, I had tons of fun making the movie. One fascinating thing I had to do was to reverse engineer my usual process. What I mean by that is, like everyone, I usually write and then shoot. But this time, I write the bare bones ideas of a few scenes. I would shoot them and then I had to write how each scene flows into the next to maintain continuity. So the entire process of writing and shooting had been reversed. For example, I was invited to a trek and so I figured that it would make for a good scene with beautiful shots. And also just getting to see something different than whatever I had shot for the rest of the film. And I like to believe that I was able to include this scene in a narratively satisfying manner. There were also a bunch of scenes I randomly shot that did not make it into the film because they just had no place in the story. So it was an interesting process to slowly shape the film scene by scene in the edit. There were even several narrative elements that come full circle without me even intending for it to happen, yet it will most likely be perceived that way when being viewed by an audience. And that's the beauty of filmmaking, coming across several unlikely coincidences that end up improving your film if you let it. You can basically just call this my most personal film to date, not only in terms of the themes and opinions that I explore, but also the time it was made in, the candid conversations with past friends, the time spent with people behind the camera, the memories shared with friends in the locations that I shot, the music choices and the reasons I have for selecting them. It's all deeply personal to me. It's an experiment that may or may not work according to you. Despite the evident messages I try to explore, it's also a highly interpretive film, which I'm really glad glad about because I love films where we have to interpret characters or themes and I'm happy that I got to contribute to that kind of cinema with my own little film. 
It's an amalgamation of ideas I have wrestled with for years and filmmaking techniques that really pushed me out of my comfort zone. So, if you're interested to watch my film, are you still watching? This 1 hour and 17 minute feature film is available to watch on Vimeo. It's on that platform and not YouTube because of the copyright strike that I would end up receiving if I put it here. The link to the film is in the description down below. So, I'd appreciate it if you would give it a watch and let me know what you thought about it. It would mean a lot to me. And before I leave you, here is my advice before you watch my film. I love that we live in a world where people are worried about everyone having such a small attention span and you step up to the plate and go, no. No, no, please, please take your time. <laughs> no, in the sense, maybe it's not, you know, maybe a lot of people w won't go for that sort of thing, but it, I think if you invest the time, it might be enriching to your life, I think, whether you agree with the story or not, mm -hmm. but it might be interesting to make you see to take the time to see and let the resonance carry.